Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Marie and I teach you how to. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all things diffuser. So the first thing we need to get out of the way is what exactly is a diffuser? Basically, it is a container, a lot of different kinds of containers and I'll go through them, that is filled with a mixture that has a base and a fragrance and then you put something into that mixture that diffuses that fragrance into a room. So for example, the most common kind is to use a glass container, fill it with base and fragrance, and then stick reeds in. Now this is kind of what reeds look like, but these are a special kind that I'll talk about in a second. But they can be rattan reeds, they can be wooden reeds, um, they can be fiber reeds, which are what these are. And basically the reeds, they soak up the base and fragrance combined and they disperse it throughout the room. So that's basically what a diffuser is. It's a great option for customers who aren't a fan of flames or don't necessarily want or can have a candle in their space. So diffusers are a great product to add to your product line. And today we are going to be making a diffuser we're gonna be using Makesy's beautiful diffuser containers. Now these are glass and this is the transparent smoky one. I absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful and so chic. It does come in other colors as well. Um, and then there's other you know, companies that obviously have diffuser containers. Um, I know that Dream Vessels has them. And then basically for a diffuser vessel, you can use just about anything. Glass works best. And you can use even a, a glass bottle that has a screw top. You just wanna make sure that the top is wide enough to fit at least 10 reeds. That's usually on average what you're going to need um, to diffuse a space properly. So any kind of glass container can do. Ones with a lid are preferable. So like I said, you can find a beautiful bottle. I know that a website called glassnow.com they have some beautiful bottles that you can use with lots of different widths and diameters for the top. So those would be great options for your diffuser vessel. But for today's purposes, we're gonna be using the Makesy um, seven ounce vessel. And like I said, this is such a beautiful vessel. It's so pretty to look at. It's very modern and very chic. Um, and so we're going to be using this vessel. And I said I'd talk about these. These are the black fiber reeds. So like I said earlier, you can use rattan, you can use willow, you can use wood. There's lots of different kinds of reeds that you can use. My personal favorite that I love is the black fiber ones that Makesy has because I find that they soak up fragrance faster, disperse it better, and it lasts longer. Um, so give these a try. Otherwise, you can certainly, if you're a huge fan of the rattan or the wood, you can certainly continue to use those if those are um, on brand for you. There's another thing that you can use to diffuse, and I think it's really, really beautiful, and it's gonna catch on soon. It's gonna be really popular. And that is these solo flowers. Now, these flowers are actually made out of wood. You wouldn't know it because they are just so delicate and so lovely. Um, they come in different flowers, and I'll do a close-up on these a little later so you can see the details better. But um, they are absolutely stunning, and they have this really thick cotton cord that's actually stiff. You can tell it just kind of, there's wire inside of it, and it just kind of sits there. And you can do this with it. So you can fill your diffuser bottle um, all the way to the top, have your fragrance, and then you can stick one of these in there and it will disperse the fragrance as well. Now the main thing to keep in mind with diffusers, and it's where it gets a little tricky, is diffusers, they have to sit overnight. So whatever it is that you are putting in there, whether it's a flower, whether it's the rattan, the black fiber, the wood sticks, they have to sit for an entire 24 hours. And then for the sticks only, you have to take them out, flip them over, put them back in, and then it begins to disperse the fragrance. Now that's what's great about the flowers is there's no flipping. So with the flowers, the fragrance comes up this cotton, kind of, it, it almost looks like a wick. It comes up the cotton, it soaks into the wood of the petals, and it begins to disperse. It still does take a good 24 hours for it to soak completely and begin dispersing the fragrance. So you still have to wait. But the great thing about these is that you don't have, there's nothing to flip. So when you give these to your customers, they just literally pop them in, 
wait 24 hours, and they can begin smelling the beautiful fragrance. Now, these solar flowers are actually from Makesy, and you might not see them on the website just yet, but know that they are coming, and I'm super, super excited for them because they're absolutely stunning. So if you have diffusers in your line and you want to change it up, these solo flowers would be the perfect way to do so. As always, I have promised you a super simple tutorial. So here we go. Now, there are two things that you need for your diffuser. And the first thing you need is a diffuser base, and then you need your fragrance. So Makesy has two really great bases that they use for their diffusers. The first one is the all natural reed diffuser. This one is the only all natural, 100% natural certified um, reed diffuser base out there. So if your line is a very all natural kind of line, then this would be the perfect reed diffuser base for you. The second one they have is a cocoa pure fuse reed diffuser. Now this one not 100% natural, but it is still vegan um, and GMO free paraben free, sulfate free, all of that, phthalate free. So um, it is still a really fantastic product. This is replacing the cocoa vegan base that they have. So this is kind of like a new and improved version. It has stronger throw, lasts longer, and it's more consistent. So this is the cocoa pure fuse rediffuser base. And then again, we have the all natural rediffuser base, which is the one that I like to use. So this is the one we're gonna use for today's example. Now, this beautiful vessel is called Vela, V-E-L-L-A. And um, this holds seven ounces. So what we want is to equal seven ounces with our equation. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna do five ounces of diffuser base and two ounces of fragrance. Now each one of these bases, um, the maximum fragrance you can use is 40%. So that's what we've done here. 40% of uh, seven ounce, or I'm sorry, of five ounces is two ounces. So, and that equals seven. So we are doing five ounces of diffuser base, two ounces of fragrance. So whatever you wanna do, whatever your vessel holds, you, then you just wanna make sure that you are using 60% base and 40% fragrance to equal whatever ounces it is, okay? So for today's example, like I said, we're using the all natural reed diffuser. You wanna make sure that you are on fluid ounces. It's always best to weigh things. Always, always, always weigh. It's way more accurate. Five ounces of the all natural reed diffuser base. There we go. And now we're gonna be doing two ounces of fragrance. So if you are a fan of the old school wooden wick, you know about Dark Rose and Laudanum. This fragrance is outstanding. It is complex. It is sexy. It is a strong thrower. Um, so this is a beautiful fragrance to use for your diffuser. And it would be also beautiful to then use one of these beautiful flowers for it because it just makes it that much sexier. So we're gonna be using Dark Rose and Labdamum. Again, this is a strong thrower um, from, it's from Makesy. So Makesy used to be called the Wooden Wick Co. in case you didn't know. Um, so now it's Makesy, but they have this fragrance and this fragrance is just, it's outrageous. It's so good. Um, and it's one of their top sellers year after year. And I know why, because it just smells outstanding. And it is such a complex and just wonderful fragrance. So we're gonna be doing two ounces of this. close enough. We don't want to go too overboard. And then my favorite stirring tool is always a popsicle stick. I just love them. You can buy them in packs of a thousand. They're made out of wood. You can recycle them. So I just love using popsicle sticks. So we're just going to stir really, really well. Make sure that that is really well combined. And so after about like 10 or 20 seconds of stirring, you're literally done. I told you this was easy. So this is so, so simple. Now the other thing that you can do if you wanna get really, really fancy and really kind of wow your customer is you can add an eco dye 
to this. Um, and if you're not familiar with the eco dyes, they're again another product from Makesy. So they're an eco-friendly dye that you can use. And this is the Scarlet dye. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, maybe not. But there we go, the Scarlet eco dye. So this is a red eco dye. They have an eco dye discovery kit that has a bunch of different colors, which is really nice. And you literally just need a tiny, tiny bit of this. Mix it in with your base and fragrance pour it in and then when you do your flowers these flowers are going to soak in that color isn't that amazing so these flowers are then going to be whatever color you dyed it in 24 to 48 hours they're going to soak everything up and they're going to change color and i think that is something so unique and so beautiful that you can do with diffusers so your customer is going to have that really fantastic wow moment when they go and look at their diffuser the next day and it's a beautiful shade of whatever, blue, yellow, red. Um, it's going to be something so, so special. So um, you can use, like I said, the eco dye, put it right in uh, to your mixture. And then when you pour it in, pop your flower down. Now, this is one that I did not even that long ago. Um, and you can already see that the center is already getting pink. Um, and so this is one that I did maybe like an hour ago. And so you can see where the liquid and everything is all red. And so in 24 hours, this is going to be absolutely beautiful. And it's going to be, like I said, you can see the center is already starting to turn pink. Um, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, so definitely something special that you can give to your customers to make it a little bit different, a little bit more unique. Remember, that's the name of the game. There's a lot of competition out there. You want to be unique and special um, and give your customer really special products. So that is something that you can do with this one. So again, we're just stirring. And now there's also two different ways to do this. So now, obviously, if you're selling this jar, you're not going to put this in there and then sell it to your customer because it has no lid. So you're going to be putting this in a, you know, like a, an eight ounce Boston bottle. Um, those are the most common types of bottles that you see. And so you want to probably put it in one of those and have it be with, you know, like a screw top. And then you can sell it alongside this and then whatever reeds or the flowers you decide to do. If you decide that you want to start out with a bottle that has a, a screw top already on it, then you can go ahead and pour this directly into the bottle so that the screw top is on really, really tight. In fact, I would even tape the top, maybe with some electrical tape, just to make sure that nothing leaks through. And then you can go ahead and mail that just with the reeds and then you're good to go. So. If you like these kinds of containers, which they're so beautiful, um, I really like them, but they just don't have lids. So you are gonna have to ship your customer this, this in a bottle, um, and then the reeds separate or flowers, whichever you decide to do. Okay, so if you choose to do the reeds, then what you wanna do is you wanna count out about 10 of them. 10 should really be your minimum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's the minimum you wanna give. You could even give your customers 20. I wouldn't do more than 20. Um, I would do anywhere from 10 to 15 reads. The, that's gonna give you the best throw. So minimum 10 reads, okay? So we're gonna keep these right here and then we're gonna go ahead and pour our liquid in. seven ounces perfectly and then what you want to do or what you want to tell your customer to do is once they've poured the liquid in then they're going to go ahead and place their reeds in so you want to let your customer know that they put the reeds in and then they're going to wait 24 hours and then they're going to very carefully take the reeds out and flip them over then that's going to start dispersing the fragrance now diffusers are really great to have in a bathroom, in an office. I prefer to have them in small spaces. Diffusers are not going to give you fragrance for an entire house. That's just not their capacity. 
but on a desk or in a powder room, these are absolutely lovely and beautiful to look at. So again, you can do the reeds, you can do the flowers. The flowers are so, so stunning. I cannot wait for these to be on the Makesy website, but I will leave links down to everything down below. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and that you found value in the content. If you did like this video, please do go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. I try to post videos once a week of tutorials and business how-tos. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.